In this video, I want to show you how to make animations in your PowerPoint presentation. Uh, now, first of all, you have to have something to animate. It could be a picture, it could be a graphic, a, a chart, it could be really anything that could be clicked upon on your slide, or even text. So, let's add a simple picture. Uh, we're going to say insert, I'll go, go back to clip art, and uh, let's use, um, all right, so let's use the car. I'm going to close the clip art window. I don't need that right now. Now, what's going to be important for me is that I have the animation pane. If that's not open, then what you do is you pick on the animations menu up top, and then on the animations menu, you pick on animation pane. And I, I, I like to have that screen. You'll see why. All right, so I want this car. I want this car to start over here. Then I want it to kind of rev up and, and start its engine. So maybe we'll make it vibrate. Um, we'll make it drive across the slide. We'll make it maybe do a loop to loop and then we'll make it zoom off the slide. Okay. So um, now, by the way, I might make it, you know, just slowly drive in from the left and then it'll kind of start up so that maybe it's at the starting line. Uh, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to click on that, that object. And then you pick on the animations menu. And the way I like to do it is I like to pick on add animation over here. Now there's four categories of animation. Entrance means how is it going to come into the slot. Emphasis means once it's on the slide, you know, we want it to do something. Uh, exit means how is it going to leave the slide. And if I wanted to move the slide, that's called a motion path, if I wanted to move around the slide. Now, you have some choices on these categories right here, but I want you to also see down here, we have more entrance effects, more emphasis effects, more exit, and more motion path. So, you know, you're not limited to the ones up here. So, here's what I'd like to do first. I like to... Uh, maybe have that that car kind of just ease itself into the slide like that. So I'm going to start the picture here, but I want to have it enter into the slide. So I'll pick on the picture. I'll pick on Add Animation. And uh, in this case, I'll pick on one of the entrance ones. Let me see if there's more entrance effects. Now this screen is interesting because when I pick one of these, it's going to show you what it's going to look like. So, for example, do I want it to spiral in? If I click on that, it's actually going to show me what that's going to look like. Uh, so, maybe those are not appropriate for this one. How about um, expand? Let's see what expand does. So, actually, I think what I'm going to do, maybe we'll have that fly in. Now, when I pick on fly in, I can make that go in a different direction. So I want to make it fly in from the left. That's, that's, that's what I wanted to do there. So I'll pick on fly in. Now, uh, I should have chose that. Let me try that again. I'll say add animation, and I'll try fly in. Okay, good. Now, uh, in this case, what I can do is I can right-click on that picture in the animation pane, and then I'll pick on effect options. And I really want to fly in from the, um, from the left or from the right. And then I'll click on OK. Uh, so let's go ahead and move this over here. And let's see what that's going to look like now. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, run the presentation from this slide with the screen over here. I don't want to start at the beginning, so this screen will let me start right from that one slide. So at this point, notice how the car is not coming in until I hit, uh, until I click. And then the car is going to come right in like that. All right, so that was pretty good. Now, uh, let's make it so it's more automatic. I'm going to hit the escape key. We can add timing to that. So I'm going to right click on that picture in the animation pane, and I'm going to say timing. So I want that to be after previous, and let's say a half second after the slide is there, I want that to uh, come on in. So the timing can be important. That's how you make it automatic. Now with effect, I can also add um, I can also add some sound. 
So let's see if there's something more about a, a car. So maybe when the car is coming in, it's not going to have, uh, I, I can use one of the sounds that are here, or I can have my own sound as well. So let's just say when the car is coming in, we'll use the drum roll. Okay, so that's good. Now let's see how the whole thing looks. I'll go ahead and click on this slideshow over here. And notice how the car is coming into the slide. Now, let's say that's at the start line. So what I'm going to do is maybe um, have a start line. Uh, I'll say insert, and that'll be a shape here. And it'll just be a straight line. So if it's going to be there, uh, I'm going to start here. Just drag it down. And that'll be my start line. Well, I might as well make a, a finish line. So uh, I'll pick on an insert shape, make another line over here. Or you know what, even better yet, we'll, we'll do a copy and paste for that. So I'll right click on the uh, slide, on the uh, line, I'll say copy, and we'll paste it. So I want, obviously now, uh, as at the starting line, I want that car to rev up a little bit. So I want that car maybe to vibrate. So I'll we'll add another animation. Uh, I, I made this extra line here. Let me get rid of that. So you don't change the first one. The first one works just fine. That's an entrance. You add another animation to make it do something else. So I'm going to say insert uh, animations. Then we'll say add animation. Uh, so I'm looking for more emphasis effects. And in this case, I wanted to kind of shake a little bit. So let's see what Peter does for us. All right, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, how about Pulse? I think Peter is the one that's going to work for me this time. Maybe that's revving up a little bit. Yeah, so I like Peter. Now notice what happens with that. Notice how you have a second animation within this, uh, for that picture. So the first one's going to make it come in. For the second one, it's going to teeter. Now, I want this one to happen automatically, so I'm going to right-click on that. We'll say timing. Now, I'm going to say after previous. And uh, let's say I want that to be uh, just a half second later. Now, I want this to repeat maybe twice. Now, this one, I want uh, a nice sound going on. So I'll pick on effect, and I'll pick on maybe that bomb. Okay. So let's see what that's going to look like for us. I like that. I think that's working for me. Now let's see how the whole thing is going to look. I'm going to go ahead and, and run the slideshow from here. It's going to come in. And then it's going to start up a little bit. Now when, um, when there's go, I want it to just zoom across the screen to the finish line. Okay? So what... What you do, I just hit the escape key there. Um, you make another animation to do, make it do something else. So I'm going to click on that. I'll click on add animation again. Now, when you want it to move around the slide, that's called a motion path. And there, you know, there's some motion paths uh, which are fine. Like uh, here is one that's called a football. And you can see, notice how the picture is going in the shape of a football. But make, to make it go in a specific direction, I want to say, I want it to move to the right. Actually, I'm sorry, I want it to move to the left. There you go, that's good. Now we're going to speed that up a little bit and we're going to make it go all the way across, but that's a good start. So I'm going to click on OK. Now notice how it's only going to go from here to there. Well, obviously I want that to go all the way across. So you pick up this, you pick up this white uh, circle and you drag it as far as you want it to go, all the way across the slide in this case. All right now, uh, in this case, um, I also want that to be automatic. So I'm going to change the time. Notice how there's a third one there. So I'm going to right click on that. I'll click on timing. 
and then I'm going to say delay, let's say after two, uh, three seconds. Okay. And then uh, I'll click on OK. Now I want this to be fast also. So under effect, we can, um, we can change the speed of it. All right, so let's see where we can change the speed of it. Uh, for the, I guess that's the, the duration, and here it says very fast. Obviously, this is a race car, so I want that to go very fast. All right, so let's see how this is going to work. So you try some of these things, and sometimes you have to experiment, but at least I'm giving you an idea. So let's see how that's going to work now. Uh, I'm going to run the whole show. That looks like it's going pretty fast. And then it's going to zoom across. I should probably have another animation here that makes it go uh, three seconds later, like uh, counting down to one, two, three. So let's see what happened to our last one. There it goes. I think I put it delayed too long. So first of all, I'm going to move this a little bit over to the right so it finishes there. And let me change that last animation there. Because the delay wasn't the way the way I wanted it to be. Ah, so I, I forgot to add a timing in there. So I'm going to say after previous three seconds, or let's say uh, yeah, three seconds will be good. And for the duration, we'll say very fast. And now let's see if we have a good sound for that one. So how about a a nice um, how about a nice whooshing sound? So I'll click on OK. And let's see how the whole thing comes out now. Oh, I see what I did. Uh, I, I made that be the sound for all three of those. So I'm going to click on each one individually now. And I'll pick on um, timing. Go back to effect this. This one really, the sound, I would like that to be the drum roll. And we'll make that one be uh, just after half of a second. Then this one, we want to do the timing, and we'll make that one uh, two seconds. And we'll make it uh, repeat twice. Make it one second. And then we'll change this sound actually to the to the bomb. And then for this one, we'll make it so that the timing is three seconds and it'll play the whoosh. So notice how each uh, animation is controlled individually. And usually I want those to be automatic, so you control that with the timing. So let's see how the whole thing looks. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. All right, so it ran right across. Now at the end, at the finish line, I wanted to make kind of a loop to loop and then disappear from the screen. So you pick on the same picture again, and we're going to add another animation. So I'll say uh, add animation. At the end, we'll do it. Uh, we'll make it spin. Okay, good. And uh, then for the spin, I want that to happen automatically. So I'll pick on timing, and I'll say after um, after previous, maybe two, uh, one second later. And we'll add a slide here, and this will be a chime, this will be a pause. Okay, and then even after that, I want it to just rush off the, off the screen. So that's going to be an exit type of animation. So I'll pick on the picture again, pick on add animation again, and we'll try more exit effects. And let's see what any of these look like. I think I'm going to have it make it do a, a, um, a boomerang. Now, how about zoom? 
No. How about swivel? I think we'll have a bounce. Oh, that's the one I want. The spiral out. Okay. So I'll pick on spiral out. And it's just going to get off the screen. Notice how that made even another animation, and that's going to happen at the very end. By the way, you can move these up or down. You can just pick them up and drag them so you can change the order of this. So you have complete control over this. So, of course, this one I'm going to add the, um, I'm going to add the timing. So we'll make it the after previous, and I'll say uh, a second and a half after that. And for this one, we'll have a sound of the chime. So let's see how the whole thing is going to look. That's the entrance. That's an emphasis. That's a motion path. That's another emphasis. And then that's the exit. So you can really use this to maybe bring your presentation to life. So you should watch this video a couple of times and see how I did the animation. Now, you know, once you know how to do this, you don't want to overdo it, right? You don't want to do this every single opportunity. Just do it, you know, to add some uh, emphasis to an important point or maybe to add some humor into your presentation. But if you overdo it, people get kind of sick of it. Uh, so you can animate objects like that. Now, another thing that we animate is going to be your text. Let's say on this slide, I want the text to come in one line at a time. So you animate a text box. I'm going to click on that text box for this slide, and then we'll say Add Animation. Now, the one that works really good with text is called Fly In. And you can see how the text is coming in one line at a time. Now, for the, uh, when, we add a, when you animate a text box, usually I don't add the timing, but I want to control the direction of that. So I'm going to right-click on this text over here. Now, by the way, you can also double-click on it. And you get the uh, the options right from there. But I want to fly it from the top instead. And you can try some of these different options. You can even add a sound here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make it still on the mouse click, and I'll show you why. Now, you can do it by the different level of paragraphs. You can also do it by one word or one letter at a time, or the whole line at a time. So I'm going to click on OK. See how it's coming in one at a time. However, I didn't add the, um, the timing into this, and I'll show you why. I'm going to run that slide with the slideshow over here. Notice how the text is not going to come in. The text is not going to come in until I click with my mouse, and then I have complete control over that. So here's my first important point. I'm going to click, and that drops in. Here's my second important point, and then here's my third important point. So, this is how you can make your text appear one line at a time. You make a, a, a text box that contains a bullet list. Then you click on that text box, and then you uh, add your animation. Usually the one that people like with text is called Fly In. And then you get that kind of effect. So, this, uh, pres this video really can show you how to animate either your text or if I go to another slide that has pictures, I can animate, you know, pictures or uh, the charts, the clip art. So you can really, um, as long as you can click on it, then you can do animation. I like to have the animation pane. The way I did that, I just picked on animations and I picked on animation pane. And then you pick on your object that you want to animate and you add animation and you take it from there.